Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess. Um, Sarah is in the back there. Um, I always take the dolls I make to Megan and Caitlin for their approval. <laughs> they didn't um, hold her or anything, they did see her and they liked her. Their mom also really likes my dolls so she likes to see the new ones. Um, so I went to the library with Megan and Caitlin today and all the ladies who worked there went crazy for her. I like to at least get one reaction, especially for the dolls that um, people buy, the dolls that I'm sending out to somebody, just kind of as reassurance that they're realistic. And Reborn Doll Makers, you, you probably understand this. Sometimes you find it hard differentiating between a realistic doll and a Reborn. Like, I know what a Reborn is supposed to look like, but sometimes I kind of, you know, forget I'm like, does it look like a baby though? Because <laughs> I just make so many reborns that they all look like dolls to me, whereas everybody else would see them and think, you know, oh, that's a baby. And um, anyway, everybody loved them. I actually got one of the ladies at the library said they do like this story that's about a baby and they use like a baby doll and they thought it would be really cool to have a reborn doll. <laughs> She's like, would you by any chance want to donate one to the library? I'm like, But, I mean, she didn't understand that that's the equivalent of, you know, saying, can I have $300? But, um, yeah, she actually seemed, you know, willing to consider, you know, actually paying for one. Uh, she seemed like she wanted one for her personal, uh, collection or something. Or, you know, for personal. She seemed like she wanted one. Not personal collection, because she didn't know what Reborns were. She was interested. So that's cool. Um. I was thinking maybe I would give a, or not give a doll to them if they pay for, you know, at least a little bit of artist fees and, you know, enough for me to get the doll, then I wouldn't mind if they used it for a certain amount of time and then, you know, gave it back to me to sell as kind of, not a boo-boo baby, but like, you know, a used, gently used baby. They said they wanted one a little bit bigger than, uh, turd knocker back there. Um. Sarah, there we go. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, that was cool. Um, lots of compliments. People were like, you know, how old is your baby? I made her yesterday. <laughs> and I love, it's so funny hearing people say, oh, she's such a doll. Like, I just think that, you know, the irony just hits me and I'm like, because <laughs> she is. <laughs> I did tell people today. Normally I'll kind of think, beforehand, you know, all right, am I going to tell people here or am I going to, you know, try to play it off as a real baby? If I'm trying to, um, get in, get out, then I play it off as a real baby. <sighs> anyway, I'm heading back home. My daddy's probably going to see the doll for the first time. Uh, this particular doll. He's always pretty, I mean, I wouldn't say he's supportive because he's a total yes man to my mother who's not supportive, but... You know, each time I make a new doll, you know, he sits and looks at it, and he's like, wow, cool. And he's offered, um, he even mentioned that maybe we could make a little studio in his little side garage. Why are they still here? <laughs> Sorry, there's people, dri there's people digging up my neighbor's, um, driveway, and they were in my way when I had to leave work. At least they're not completely in my way now. <gasps> Kitty! Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.